Well, welcome to The Bowling Point. Great to see you again. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go live to Ware's Boiler University and talk with Jude Wolf, the instructor there at the university. He's going to be talking today about the Honeywell 7800 series run test mode operation. Let's go take a look. All right, welcome to Boiler U, uh, Ware's Boiler University. Today we're going to look at a demo rig we use for our training and show you some tips and tricks uh, relevant to the 7800 and the run test switch that you may or may not know about. Um, first I'm going to energize this burner limit and let this proceed to purge with the rest of the limits made. One of the things that a lot of people with the 7800 Honeywell unit don't know is they may, based on the model, have a run test switch on the top left back of the unit. Um, I remember the position by feel as right to run, left to test is my little trick to remember that. And this goes unnoticed by many customers and users, but it has several useful functions which we'll demonstrate with our demo unit. Um, first, when we put the burner on, we close the burner switch. Um, if we take that run test switch and move it to the test position, we get indication of purge hold uh, due to the run test switch. And what we'll see on uh, an actual boiler in this instance is that our blower will continue to run and our, we will maintain the high fire purge position uh, essentially indefinitely uh, unless some limit opens. And the benefit of this is that if we have a unit that we need to cool, um, we don't want to drain the boiler and fill it with cold water. That would be uh, quite damaging to it. But by just running the blower, that gives us a method to cool the unit without uh, damaging it. So if we leave that in the test position as such, it could run even overnight as long as the limits stay made. It's not going to affect it. If we put that back into the run position then, um, it's going to continue with the purge timing. So we can stop that repeatedly if we want. Um, it's not going to affect anything. Once the purge completes its duration, the unit's going to drive back down to low fire and the, use, the switch will have a slightly different function at that time. Okay, so now we're driving to the low fire position and we've immediately lit the pilot. If I put that in the test position at this point, we'll be in pilot hold. Um, that pilot hold function is beneficial. We can scroll down and look at our flame signal and so if we need to make adjustments to our pilot, gas pressure or anything to make the pilot more stable, now we've got an indefinite amount of time to do that, um, presuming we don't open a limit circuit or we don't have a flame failure due to lack of flame. So with this in pilot hold, um, I can monitor, look at that flame, etc. When I pl place that in run again, we're going to continue that pilot timing and we'll go ahead and go to the run state. Uh, main ignition, um, we can't pause it during main ignition because it's a critical safety timing period. Um, but once we release to modulate, we'll be able to put it in test again. So here we've released to modulate because it says run. If we put that switch back in the test position, it's actually going to drive the unit back or hold the unit in low fire. So if you've got a unit that you need to warm up slowly and you don't have an auto manual potentiometer or you don't want to make adjustments on the firing rate control, um, using the run test switch will allow you to hold it in low fire. Now if the limit circuit opens, it's going to go back to the purge position and hold, thereby cooling the boiler once again. But uh, as long as we're in attendance and we want to hold it in low fire, we can leave that in that position. Then once the boiler's warm to operating temperature, we can put that back in run and it will resume operation. So the run test switch is something that a lot of people don't even realize is there, but it does have a lot of useful uh, purposes. It's in the manual, but uh, not everybody reads it. So here you go.
Well, we appreciate Jude giving us that useful feature on the 7800. Check out our website and our Ware Boiler University and our dates and our locations. As always, we'd love for you to check out our Boiling Points on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.